yoga? Can you just raise your hand if you do? It's really okay if you don't. Okay, great. Um, so this is really more of like fitness training. It's called suspension training. Um, I use the word yoga because that we're gonna borrow some of the names and some of the poses and become familiar with that. I'm gonna leave this door open and if everybody's okay with it. All right, so we're gonna put the swing behind our back to begin and say hello to our little friend. So I make these and they're really comfortable. They're really stretchy. So the first thing we wanna do is realize that they're gonna have a lot of bounce. Right? So when we sit back, we do that nice and slow and controlled. And if you guys need to see me a little bit better back there, you can just kind of like swing a little from side to side. As much as possible, we're gonna stay in our little pods here. So if you look down, you'll notice the first thing that's different is the mats are circular, right? And so we're gonna be moving what I call mul in multi-dimensional space. So we're gonna be swaying a lot from side to side and the mat is a nice way to trace our experience. Okay, so when we sit down in the swing, we're gonna engage our shoulders, right? So you're gonna pull your shoulders down your back and you're gonna walk your knees wide. So wide and forward like you're in a chair. So if you have to drop your hips so I can see. Good. Now, most people are pretty good. I'm gonna bring your swing up and I'm gonna bring your swing up. You wanna bring your swing down? Would you like to bring it down? You can decide while we're thinking about it. Let's start with you, so hold on and come up. So this is how we adjust the swing. I'm gonna adjust it. You don't have to adjust it within yourself. And you can adjust it as we go along. So come back to me, okay? This is Buck. Come out with a swing. Buck, come out. <laughs> Buck's like, I don't mind. He was very happy about it. So, <laughs> so each one of these markings, I call them notches. It's a scientific term, of course. Each one of these notches represents uh, like about approximately four inches of how high we can bring the swing up. Okay, so we can actually bring it up one more, so there's multiple. Right, so I'm going to bring it up high since you were pretty low, and then we can always bring it down on. So I just use the chair to stand on, but most people can stand on their tippy toes when they have their own swing at home, and that's a nice way to measure. If you stand on your tippy toes and reach up, that's usually the right height for you. Let's give that a try. Let's come over here and touch it. Everybody else can continue the sitting down swing from side to side. So, with your swing, um, I have a little trick that I do at the ages if I just want to kind of bring it outside into the playground setting. Mm -hmm. So since we're on the top one here, when I bring the swing up, I bring the legs above the hip. Legs the up one, and they all kind of work together. So if you want to bring your swing up or down, then you make sure you bring the legs above the hip. Okay. So let's try that again. Everybody else feel the way? Just the right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you just have to drop your hips all the way. So if you pick your feet up off the ground, you would be more honest. Pick your feet up. Yep, I know it's hard. Pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your hips should be. Your swing can come up a little bit higher, but you look pretty good. You comfortable? If you're happy, that's all that matters. Perfect. That's great. Now everybody, when they first get used to the swing, complains about the pressure under their arms, which is very unusual. And no other activity do we get this kind of like hanging from our armpit sensation. But trust me, it gets better. <laughs> but at first it'll be a little uncomfortable and we just kind of work with that. Whenever you need a break, I'm gonna be careful of anything around me, just like you are. You can bring your arms up and overhead. This is how you take a break. So everybody lean back together, synchronize. Okay, and then stretch your arms back behind you. Beautiful. And then exhale, bring your arms out wide and back down. See, that took pressure off the underarms. Now make sure you come down and sink your hips down. Everybody's doing this. I want everybody to do this. Even more, deep in the hip creases. So good. And now take your forearms and press them in. This is the second way. I'm just gonna go over some of the basics with you guys with how to play safely and comfortably with the swing. So this is a forearm press. Okay, my hands are right by my forehead and then I'm pressing forward. So press your hands towards me. Keep your hips low. Hips are not involved in this situation, right? We're gonna isolate the upper body. So press your arms and you feel how that takes pressure off the upper body, everybody? Yes? Mm -hmm. Awesome, okay. So that's another way that we can play in the swing, hanging, just as these are um, upright poses. So what we wanna do is drop our hips a lot. Now, unless you guys wanna be like this for the whole class, just try it, that's really, really hard. 
I feel like I'm not trying. <laughs> we're going to be honest about dropping our weight. Otherwise, we're going to have to hold our feet in the air, and we don't want to do that, right? That's way too hard. Okay? Cool. Okay, so let's test out our leg loops now. So we're going to stay sitting the whole time. If we try to stand up and put the legs loop, leg loops on and jump around, it gets a little messy. So we're going to stay sitting. We're going to keep our arms hugging around the swing at all times. And then we're going to take the leg loop, both hands, pull it down, put it behind the knee. Just try it. We'll see if you can get it. If anybody needs to bring the leg loops down, we can bring them down for you. Do both of them back there. Both of them. Okay. Stay sitting. There you go. Stay sitting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is called relaxing. That looks great. I got it. I got it. I got it. So we're gonna just bring them down one for you, right? So everything is up. So we're gonna bring them down. And then grab with both hands. All the way to the bottom here. Staring at you. So, anyhow, get the leg loops behind your knees. <laughs> you can do it. You're fully supported in the swing. <laughs> Just karate chop them in, whatever needs to happen. Is everybody good with the leg loops? So, Catherine, you can bring your leg. <laughs> You're like, that's the workout. Just getting them on. So, your leg loops can come down one if you want it. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do names like a gazillion times. That's Alicia. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. What's your name again? Chelsea. Chelsea, are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, because we can bring the leg loop down. You look great. Nicole. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Feels good? Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> You're like, I'm not going to take a nap, but. <laughs> All right, good. Fantastic. So we want to keep the swings bunched up under the knees. Don't try to spread them out or anything, even though, again, it's going to be intense because it's hitting one of the meridian points, the, the point for the lower back, called the kidneys. This is called chillaxing. So this is our number one relaxing pose, okay? We're gonna take our arms and press our forearms in. That's gonna help lift our chest. So our hips don't move, our hips stay heavy. There we go. And we just lift our chest. Perfect. So this is our number one hangout position. The other hangout position is clasping your hands behind your head. Leave your hips heavy, but lift your heart towards the sky. Just the upper body. Yeah, that looks great, everybody. Beautiful. All right, so from here, we're gonna add a little swagger. So to do that, we're gonna push down with one knee and then down with the other knee. Now we can, we can get into some little bumper car action here, which means that we can let ourselves just sway in the space. So just be really gentle, so we're not going to get crazy yet. Right. You guys okay back there? You're fitting like Legos? <laughs> awesome. Good job. Now, Catherine, if you want to come lower, you can. Are you comfortable? Yeah, You're totally fine, but keep your hips heavy, okay? Hips down. There you go. Good. So everybody can be a little bit higher or a little, a little bit lower in the swing, but we're like very close to the ground, right? This is pretty much as high up as we're going to go. We're not going to do any flying tricks for today. We're having a nice intro class. I do want you guys to stay engaged in the upper body and relax in the lower body as much as possible. Cool. All right, so let's reach up and hold on to the swing, okay? This is the swing, reaching forward is the leg loops, okay? So hold on to the swing, keep your elbows on the outside, elbows bent, that's really important so we don't lose our hook, our hook is here. And I want you to just lift your hips and lean your head back. So when we lift our hips and lean our head back, we come into a supported back bend. Okay, let that feel good. And then we're ex exhaling, sinking our hips back down. Good. Now notice when we do that, that also takes pressure off the underarms. Okay? So when you come back, don't come back like this, right? Because it's like, what's wrong with my neck? <laughs> You're going to walk out feeling tense. So we want to keep the swing below the heart. And then hook. Yes. 
so that upper body feels like that nice curvature. It's got upper thoracic arching, but then the hips stay relaxed. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. We're learning how to initiate our back bends from our heart instead of our lumbar spine. I might use some language that doesn't make sense. Just let me know. There you go. Now you're in and it's more comfortable, right? You got it? You get back there? Awesome. So just sway it out for a few more breaths. Just get comfortable. It's like a new relationship. You want to build some trust. Be curious. <laughs> Don't get crazy yet. <laughs> so as long as our arms are around the swing and the leg loops are behind our knees, we're totally supported. We're not going anywhere. Okay. Great. Now let's come back out. Again, we're just doing the warm-up lap to get familiar. To come out, which is so important, we reverse. Both hands stay wrapped around the swing. This is really important. Gloria, I want you to watch for everybody and make sure nobody goes like this which feels like tempting, but when you do that, you lost your anchor. Hug the swing, reach for the leg loop with both hands, and then bring that foot down. Even though it's tempting, don't come to stand. Reach both arms around. No. <laughs> There's always somebody who, who's gonna like lose the anchor, it's okay. And then second side, come to sit. Come to sit, not stand. I know it's tempting. There you go. Cool. All right, great. So just hang out there for a breath. I'll bring your swing up one more for you. Okay, so come on out. Everybody else is feeling good. Are you feeling like you're in the right position? So we take a few minutes to just really warm up to the point where we feel comfortable. Does everybody feel comfortable? You getting it? Yes, no, maybe. I. I. Thank you. <laughs> just a little interruption. Great, yeah. So in most workshops, we don't really talk, but I really want you guys to let me know how you're doing and what you need. So little things like that. If I look at, if I look like you, look at you or seem like I'm looking at you and I say, are you doing okay? Just go, mm-hmm, or mm -hmm, or something, you know? So otherwise it's like, hello, hello, okay? I just encourage you to have a conversation with me if you need anything. It's new, right? Anything new is gonna be a little scary and a little exciting all at the same time. Eventually it becomes exhilarating. <laughs> Until then we just take it nice and slow. We're gonna, okay? Yeah. Yes, that's well. There you go. <laughs> I can tell by your face. Our face tells us everything. If somebody's like, hmm, I'm gonna come over and be like, how you doing? Okay, you feel good now? Yeah. Okay. So number one pose in aerial yoga play. I made up the sequences, I made up the names. They're supposed to be funny. They're supposed to be silly. This is called sumo squat. Okay, so in our sumo squat, we're gonna walk our feet forward. It's gonna be into the front of the mat. Everybody's mat is underneath us, right? We're gonna sink our hips down. Arms open wide to a T, right? This is gonna be intense. And then we're gonna inhale, hands up and overhead, and then open up into a supported back bend. So in your supported back bend, just go as far as it feels good for today. You can always come into chillaxing arms, right? So again, we're just going to be mindful of people, of walls, of pillars, anything that might be behind us or in front of us, we just pay attention to. Okay, and then we're going to exhale, open our arms up wide and sit back down. Really good, guys. So just a simple supported back bend. Legs stay straight the whole time. We're pressing back. Very good. Now drop your hips. So this is almost like a forward fold, right? But we're not gonna go too far. We're just stretching the hamstrings. Flex your feet back and notice that stretch the hamstrings a little bit more. Beautiful. Inhale, press your hips up, lift. Arms go up and overhead, full expression. Go as far back as you can. Exhale, beautiful guys. Arms open wide and sit back down. Now we're just gonna bend the knees and rock. All right. So that sound is just the carabiners. Don't worry about it, everything is safe. It's like being on a boat. <laughs> little creaks and squeaks. There you go. So let's try to sink up a little bit. So everybody's gonna come towards me. There we go. And then everyone's gonna come back. There we go. It's like we're little fishies. There we go. So just let yourself hang. I know, the underarms are like, what is happening? And then we're gonna relieve the underarms and come into some forward fold. Okay, this time you're gonna stay back. Hips up, forearm press, right? So I am going to 